he was about nine or ten and look at him now with professional debut but he's actually got a decent opponent there tonight actually in yeah. with him. Look, as you said, looking forward to seeing George. He's certainly grown up, hasn't he, since we first know him. He, he looks a, a big, strong guy for the weight. But he's got an unknown quantity who actually looks like he can hold himself together pretty well. He's got a 3-1 and one winning record, never boxed in England before. So he's no real form to go off. And, yeah, good little debut for George Colleen. Definitely. You, you can see already that um, his opponent there is actually compact well put together got his elbows tucked in nice he actually has a similar boxing style to georgia so this could be a good little fight this one yeah and he's got that ambition of a winning fighter you know he's he's, he's three and one he's probably still you know he'll know it'd be difficult but he's still got his own hopes and own dreams i suppose and yeah he's, he's gonna ask a few little questions of georgia it's certainly not one of these um give me fights we get against the guy who's got 75 losses you know uh, you can already see that straight away George, a very meticulous preparer. He lives the life. I know it's a cliche, that, but it's true. He does live the life. He's a good kid. Got a good family support behind him. He's a dedicated young lad. And uh, like I say, he's, he's got, got off to a good start, though. It's nice and crisp shots. The jab's working. And uh, I think this is going to be a good little fight, this. Yeah, everything's nice and straight, isn't it? He punches very correctly, George. You can see he's well-schooled. And he's been... Bought up, born and bred. Bought up, born and bred in Matt Collier's gym, hasn't he? You know, people like Zelf have done the same, but George been there since he was a little kid, training amateurs with the McDonough brothers and uh, progressing through to a professional with uh, with Pat, and you can see that schooling straight away. Sorry yeah. about the phone ringing. <laughs> vibrating through the table. When, um, yeah, I mean, he said when he, when he turned pro, there's only one Jimmy wanted to go with. You know, uh, he'd been with Tommy all them, all them years, and now... Tommy and Pat as a, as a pro. Um, there was only one choice for him. And you know what? He does look a good boxer, doesn't he? A nice, tidy boxer. Yeah. Not neglecting the body, using that jab upstairs, downstairs. Landed a nice little left hook in that exchange. I actually was the MC for his last ever amateur bout. And it was a good fight against, uh, I can't remember his name. He was a good kid from the Fox. Really, and I, I knew then he would be a good pro. I that's knew a, then that's a local derby, isn't it? The Fox against um, Collier's oh, yes, oh, It was a great little fight. Great little fight, that was. Great I atmosphere. I think his name was Callum Daniels. I, I don't want to get it wrong. But yeah, it was a really good fight. And I knew then George would be suited to the pros, the way he boxes, the way he moves. Looks nice and relaxed, nice and patient, doesn't he? Shoulders are nice and loose. Nice little right hand there. And, uh, yeah, a good opening round. I do think George had the better of it, but it's not been, let's say, one-way traffic because uh, the kid here has come to fight a bit. It's uh, Artem Sparta, three and one. I mean, he's got a winning record at the end of the day. Yeah, all this year as well. So, turned professional in January, turned out four times, got three wins, and uh, been the six-round distance once and lost to a, a decent opponent. But yeah, George Clean looked real composed there. Looked a, a good, steady fighter, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. And uh, you didn't get a... I mean, again, I, I said this with Garth. It, Garth didn't look... Uh, you know, he took the occasion well. I think George has taken this occasion well so far. He looks very... Um, you know, he's boxed properly. He's boxed properly. He's not falling apart. And the pressure on a pro debut, you must be so nervous. Yeah, especially for somebody like George who's who's dreamt of this for years and years. Uh, he'll, have, he'll have imagined this moment only thousands of times. And he didn't let it all build up too much and become too much for him. He, he looked like he handled it all really well. And you can just look around, you can see Sean Ben Mulligan and other characters from uh, his dad. George's dad's there watching, isn't he? You can see all different characters from the Collier's Gym have come out to watch this debut. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, he's, he's one of the boys, basically. And, uh, you know, even as a young kid, he talked the right talk. He's clearly got that Collier's and Moston, um, you know, style, confident, good, you know, talks the right, the right things, talking about his defence. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, we do need some good new Manchester talent coming through, don't we? We, we, need, we need that because this is a fighting city. Yeah. It is. And it, if George has come up in that environment there, that it's a tough environment to learn in Collier's and Moston. You've got to be dedicated and you've got to be on it and you've got to be willing to put 100% in 
going to the pros won't be so much of a shot to the system as it is for some for some guys who join you know George has been bred into that mindset hasn't he yeah well some of their sparring sessions I mean it, it is a bit of a throwback in a sense it's quite an intimidating gym to sparring because you know there's a lot of eyes watching who are who know the boxing so um, yeah but they, they, they drill a lot of as you know John they drill a lot of uh, this stuff we're seeing now the jab and jab and move jab and move and he's doing a good job of staying tidy in defense but you know this will almost be like muscle memory for him because they, they, the, the amount they drill this sort of stuff and he, he tried to pick a good right hand there and he that was did, yeah. a very good spot to try and pick a right hand that he's shows just, his ring IQ just willing to hold his feet for that split second and Landy barely missed by a fraction didn't he so realising the gaps and noticing the opportunities as well it's a good debut this from George Colleen now um, his, his opponent there Sparta, Artem Sparta did get through with a right hand there uh, a few seconds ago but George took it well but it was a good shot, and uh, just a little reminder there as well. This is the pro. This is the pro game. Solid, heavy jab that one, wasn't it? Just uh, timed it absolutely perfectly. Looking a little bit red around the eyes, isn't he, Spartan? You know, you can see that jab's landing. There's no real bruising, but you can see his eyes are watering a little bit. I think he's finding home pretty consistent, Colleen few shout outs here big up to sport box tv news showing love from new york city big up supporting hannah bagley from new york to blackpool there we go and then uh harry big up harry big up chloe big up brenda supporting george here there we go educated fight fans in america i can know which show to be watching exactly from England today exactly sports box tv news knows where it's at Thanks for joining us. Great to have you here watching the show with us. And uh, George Colleen here, professional debut. He is about to get his second round in the bank. But again, um, you know, Sparta sh is showing some, some good looks and George is having to think about this. Yeah, this is a, a, a real good debut opponent. He's not getting the opportunity to switch off and let his mind wander and look outside the ring and look at his friends and family isn't he because you know, he knows it's in hand he's having to be switched on for every single second I am absolutely buzzing off this turnout the turnout is fantastic you know smaller boxing you know it, you know it's live and kicking smaller boxing we do it we often whinge about the big TV shows because you know the fights don't get made and this happens but when you see this you realize you know it, it reminds you what's good about boxing yeah and I'll tell you what as well bowlers wins bowlers and black flash nights win the award the best food available at a fight night you know if you're ever thinking of coming you know it's not just your burger and hot dogs here is it you know he's a it's good it's a, a good venue good turnout good selection of stuff it's a, a good night out at a black flash show. i saw a guy with, with with sweet and sour chicken and chips earlier i'm thinking to myself this is where it's at really oh don't get involved <laughs> in this old chinese food debate aki that's going around at the moment okay well actually i don't know about this you have to fill uh, me in at the break and we'll come and comment on it <laughs> Um, third round here, professional career of uh, George Colleen is getting underway tonight. He is in there against Artem Sparta, who has a winning record himself. And by the looks of it, he has come to win tonight. Yeah, he's not lying down and back going into his shell as he's come out and missed third to, to try and turn things around a little bit. Good fighter himself, isn't he? He certainly knows what he's doing. He holds himself well. Nice punch picking there from Colleen. Well, yeah, it's the first time we've heard of him, which is not not in a you know a, a, a boastful manner, but we, we we know a lot of people on the circuit, but we've not. I've never seen this kid, and that always does ring alarm bells a little bit because you think, ooh, what, what's he going to be like? And uh, I'm I'm glad he's a good boxer because you know again, it's like you just don't want to see easy touches, and I think George will learn a lot from this as well. Yeah, that boxing brain's working well, as you know, just when Spatum's Spartans coming close. Colleen's just switched to that little uppercut, you know, so he's realised straight away the weapon to use when Spartan does close the distance, so that brain's working well. Just falling um, short a little bit in this round. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the, the pace has dropped a little bit. Uh, again, it's... Um, you know, there's, 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 all, there's all sorts of uh, dynamics that play in a professional debut, isn't there? Um, tucking up nicely there. I think adrenaline dump is a, a serious thing, isn't it? You know, once the first couple of rounds are gone, there's an adrenaline dump there in between at some point. But 
I think Spartan as well has just come out more determined in this third round and, and looking to try and get his own work off. Kalina's dealing with it really well. Nice little left up to the body there. I like that left up to the body. It was good. It, it went under the radar a little bit, but it, he just dropped it in there at the end of a combination. It was a nice shot. And big up to everyone joining us. We've also got uh, Last Bastion on there. Go on, George. A lot of support for George. And uh, I know there's a lot here, but there'll be, there'll be, a, lot of, there'll be a lot of people from around uh, Manchester watching George now. They all know him off the, off the amateur circuit. And uh, we're glad uh, everyone that's joining in is enjoying the show. The pace has slowed a little bit. I think uh, a bit of the uh, early adrenaline has worn off a little bit. But um... yeah, and it was it, it was quite a high-paced give and take fight, wasn't it? Not give and take with shots bouncing off each other but both were trying to land shots at constantly throughout the first couple of rounds so to be expected particularly with a professional debut but still had everything in control there Colleen yeah he's, he's in control he's in control I mean is, is there an argument for a share of a round in any of these I mean I don't think so I think Colleen's probably just edged everything so far particularly the second half that, that's how I'm seeing it second. that's how I'm seeing it they're good, they're good, they're good competitive learning rounds though and uh, just looking at them both in the corner, they're definitely, you know, they know they're in a fight, they're feeling the pace a little bit, and this is good, this is what you want to go through in your, you know, you want to you tick a couple of boxes off, don't you? You know, you want to go for, you want to take a couple of shots, you, you know, just, just to get used to the ropes, you know, you've got the small gloves on. Well, I, I think Colleen's ticked a couple more boxes than a lot of prospects do on the debut. You know, the fact that he's against a, a, a pretty good operator who's come to win, you know, it's not a luxury... He's not been given a luxury of a, a a performance rather than a debut. You know, Colleen's had to work for this and he can be proud of himself when the final bell goes if he gets to, gets to the end. Absolutely. Fourth and final round of George Colleen's pro debut. We've got some Pete Naylor fans in the house as well. Thanks for joining us. Everybody's a Pete Naylor fan if you've seen him fight. Oh, yeah. He's excited to watch, isn't he? He just, he just looks like a heavyweight you just want to watch, you know. So what I've been impressed with, though, George is throwing the jab a lot. Even if he's out of range, he's just throwing it, just keeping him occupied. You know, it's a good weapon for him. He's he's kept his shape. Yeah, you can tell by his build that the jab and the straight shots are going to be weapons for him, aren't they? He's a well-schooled, well-compact and put-together boxer. Now that that can take you a long way. Look at Scott Quigg. Look at Anthony Crawler. You know these these guys. You know they weren't flashy, but they were very dedicated. They they were um, compact fighters. They did the basics and fundamentals really well, and, and even Terry Flanagan as well. I mean, look at these guys that you got from Manchester, who who took that style uh, and took it a long way. I think we've seen some nice defence from George in this round. You know, he's had some shown some good head movement, got his feet working working well. I've not seen Spate and land a shot. I'm pretty sure Pat might have told him just sharpen up that defence because he look at that, another nice little bit of head movement there. I wonder if Pat's just told him to work on that in his fourth round because looking pretty slick he does take a right hand there from yeah Spayton. that was a that was a good shot probably his best shot of the fight actually commentator's curse but a good jab back from George there as well Ooh, big trade of right hands and I think George just come off better on, on, on it on the exchange I've seen a bit of redding around the eyes of Spartan and yeah. George did put his weight, some weight behind that one I think I think Colleen did feel that he got the better of that exchange, didn't he? He's just upped it a little bit. And Spartan just falling in and holding them for the first little time. I think they both know they've been in a fight after these four rounds. I think they've tested each other, you know, they've had, they've had to think, they've had to stay active. Yes, yeah, I've enjoyed it. As, as four rounders go with debutants, it's been a real good watch, hasn't it? Spartan's turn to just uh, come forward a little bit, but another clean right hand from Colleen there. He, he again gets the better of the exchange. Couple of comments here. Duncan, I uh, hope you get well so soon, mate. 
Um, thanks to Black Flash for the show. Excellent commentary. Thank you very much, mate. We're, we didn't pay him. We promised we didn't pay him. And uh, Hassan Ahaha. Yes, um, is... Yeah, you box with you box with Pete. There we go. Perfect. So, a lot of good, su got good supporters on tonight. And George Kaleem gets his professional debut off to a great start there. I uh, thought he was uh, really good there. Yeah, had to think his way through the entire four rounds. No time for coasting. And uh, I think he did more than enough. And Stephen Reid is in the ring. And I think Darren will... It looks like a formality, this. So we'll see and get the official confirmations. points to 36 every round for Colleen but had to work in every single one of them had to think in every single one of them and I think that's a pretty solid debut there from George Colleen 